So nothing but the most important information over here. People that uh, people I know want to know about this story because it will affect your daily life. And this headline is: I married the ghost of Michael Jackson, but we don't bonk. He just wants to eat cookies. That's some good news on that front. <laughs> Wait, what was was this headline written by like an AI with just random keywords? I don't know, but uh, uh, there is uh, this headline out of the uh, Daily Star UK that uh, says medium Kathleen Roberts, who also claims to be the reincarnation of Marilyn Monroe, says Michael Jackson was first attracted to her childlike personality and small hands and feet, but he won't go to the next level. Man, I got mixed emotions about this one. I'm not sure I want to know more about this. So I'll read this. This is important information because people love Michael Jackson. He is probably, would you put Michael Jackson in the league of the most famous people that have ever lived on this earth? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He's like, yeah, easily the most famous ghost until Oprah and Madonna start dying. Yeah, I would put, uh, so it's like the most famous people on that have ever lived. Michael Jackson, I think, is up there. Keith uh, Richards, he's going to be up there. Uh, Jesus Christ, Michael Jackson. I don't think Keith Richards is killable, to be perfectly honest. It's going to be it's Keith Richards and Dick Cheney will be the last ones alive. Probably. Yeah. They'll have to, they'll have to Thunderdome for King of the Planet. <laughs> but a little bit from this article here. Uh, if you were possessed by a spirit, you might want them to beat it. Oh, good God. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know what you've won, but how could you uh, have done this? <laughs> but not Kathleen Roberts. She claims she is married to the ghost of Michael Jackson, who mainly wants to use her as a vehicle to eat cookies. Medium Kathleen, who also reckons she's the reincarnation of Marilyn Monroe, says wait, wait, she's wait, been just real quick. Does she? She's identified in there as Medium Kathleen. Medium Kathleen. Because she's a medium, not not in the sense of like large march, right? Yeah, she's not like a large woman or a petite woman. Like they're not saying it as a like a size kind of description. Okay. It's she's a medium, a trans medium. <laughs> she's that's her her chosen profession, not not a reflection of her size. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's great, isn't it? <laughs> uh, medium Kathleen, <laughs> la, lar, large well, Kathy, large Marge. Uh, medium Kathleen, who also reckons she is the reincarnation of Marilyn Monroe, says she's been in a relationship with the King of Pops ghost for several years. She says he's made himself very at home inside her, using Ew. her body to sing, dance, and eat snacks. Awesome. <laughs> but much to her disappointment, she says he doesn't seem interested in consummating their marriage. Sex she says, isn't on the menu. Well, wait, wait, wait. She's possessed, right? So she is. The, the ghost, the spirit of Michael Jackson is in her. It's uh, inhabiting body. her. He's in yeah, inhabiting her corporeal form. How are they going to have sex? Because that's just masturbation at this point, right? Yeah. And, and where's Marilyn Monroe in this whole thing? Yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good point, Joe. That's just like a throwaway line. Oh, by the way, I'm Jesus. Wait, what? You know, it's so, like, what are the chances? Oh, I am the reincarnation of Marilyn Monroe. And by the way, I married the ghost of Michael Jackson. I won the lottery in, you know, the paranormal. So fuck off. Yeah, she's got it all. She's got like the, the most iconic spirits in her right now. Like she is both Marilyn Monroe and then possesses elements of Michael Jackson. If she can get Jim Beam, she's got all the right spirits. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, well, and and Jimmy Dean. Yeah, yeah and Jimmy Dean and Bob Evans. <laughs> well, she goes on. Might as well get Big Boy in there. <laughs> and Danny, I don't know who he is. Danny. And Scott, I don't know. There's some toilet paper. He seems like a popular guy. He's Why don't you just, uh, what about the Arnold? Can we just get Arnold in there? I know he's not dead yet, but nothing's impossible, right? I'm back. <laughs> get him in there. Get him in the mix. He'll do it. He'll fuck everyone there. He'll fuck you and Michael Jackson. But I hope you leave <laughs> enough room for my hawk because I'm going to ram it into your pussy. So uh, this article goes on. It is, it's an unusual and unprovable setup, but Kathleen insists she's found, uh, she's of sound mind and that she is being 100% truthful. 
For a while, she shared stories of her and Michael's marriage on TikTok. But uh, since those accounts have now been removed, the most vivid insight comes from an article she wrote last year. So uh, it goes on to say she paints Michael, who died in 2009 at age 50, as being a real chatterbox, something uh, that surprised her. Kathleen from the U.S. writes, quote, Michael uh, stays in me all the time. So he comes to the restroom with me and calls these special bonding moments toiletries. Yeah, she's growing memories on the toiletries. Excuse me, but I was just taking a shower. All right. (laughs) I'm going to take a shit. (laughs) I just took a shit with Michael Jackson. Uh, I wonder, okay, he goes, quote, he go, this, this goes on, quote, he sings and dances possessed in me, quote, uh, in, in uh, parentheticals here, or channeling, if you refer to it professionally, he talks to me a lot, which is not what I expect from a shy man I saw on TV all those years ago when I was a fan. Okay. What is this fucking bullshit? She's got a dead raccoon she brings when she goes out to eat, and it's haunted by the ghost of Bubbles the monkey. Michael Jackson loves to eat the roadkill raccoon. <laughs> he just sets it up on the table at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you cook this for me. <laughs> Can you deep fry this uh, raccoon for me? Thanks. Uh, I goes on to say, quote, Uh, He stays possessed in me, relaxed, not channeled, and just enjoying living through me and communicating with me as a husband. So he likes to eat in me. He loves cookies. He cusses a lot more than I expected to him as a former fan. Oh, so uh, Michael Jackson's got a bit of a potty mouth. You goddamn fucking piece of shit. Walking down the street. He's like, you fucking goddamn degenerate fucks. Yeah, but uh, the degenerate fox. Come but on. this, despite being famous for his crotch grabbing, groin thrusting moves on stage, well, he was famous because he was an amazing singer songwriter. The the crotch grabbing was just a bonus. Okay. Uh, but despite being famous for his crotch grabbing, groin thrusting moves on stage, Kathleen says he has struggled to connect with him on a sexual level, despite her best attempts to be. Physically intimate. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. R- read that sentence again. Despite whose best as- uh, attempts? Despite being famous for his crotch grabbing, groin thrusting moves on stage, Kathleen says she has struggled to connect with him on a sexual level despite her attempts to be physically intimate. This sounds like spiritual sexual assault, honestly. And I think the, uh, the, ectoplasm police need to be there to to arrest her because well, it's not to be taken I, I lightly think, it almost sounds like she is i am taking it lightly because it's a oh. kind of crazy crazy person with michael jackson's ghost inside her but okay it sounds like she has kidnapped michael jackson's ghost hmm. and is trying to force him to perform sexual acts on her yes has she tried being a six-year-old boy <laughs> not that i know of Good but job. that does work from time to time doesn't it i've heard well, I can play a little bit. This is a little bit of her talking, I believe. Oh, we have a clip. Hi, I'm Kathleen. I have a story to tell you. It's about a ghost who is very famous and how he became my husband. It all began in 2009, <laughs> in June, when I was a very big fan of Michael Jackson. I had a crush on him and... I loved his music since I was three years old. I was a very big fan. And when he died, I was very crushed. I mourned very hard. All right. I can't. I don't know if I can take it anymore. Yeah, I'm going to say racist stuff. stuff. She sounds like better. a real gem of a woman. I mean, I was com- everything she said was compelling okay. to a point that I was enthralled. I, I, the fact that you stopped it is just insane. Mike, can you run that with some uh, real bombastic music behind it? Maybe that would help. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might be able to. Let's see. I, I might be able to find some kind of like uh, some kind of movie music or something like that. Or I, even I your your uh, your your self help music because she's just talking. 
Oh yeah, I, I do have some inspirational movie music, right? Maybe. Where's my uh, my inspirational stuff? Oh yeah, right here. Oh yes, this is good right here. This will work. And I cried for days, and <laughs> I I just I couldn't deal with it. It was just so difficult. You've definitely not like hurt the production of it. Enough. No, I think I actually raised the production level oh, yeah. of this. It was hard for me to get up in the mornings. <laughs> it was hard for me to go to bed. Okay. It was just, I cried day and night. Okay. I cried while I was at work. And it was very hard. Okay, that's, that's about all I can do there, guys. I'm Love sorry. to be in HR and this woman's crying at work and, and she gets, you know, suggested to go to talk to HR and then they're like, well, why are you upset? She's like, well, I kidnapped Michael Jackson's ghost and put him inside me and won't have sex. Yeah, the ghost of Michael Jackson that I kidnapped won't fuck me here at the office in the bathroom when we're doing our trilogies or at home. Well, she uh, sorry, she I, don't, also- I don't have that on my form. I don't know what box to check for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, she writes, uh, he doesn't like being touched back. He, uh, he scares me with spider visions and dead corpse visions if I kiss him or try to initiate romance physically. Uh, quote, he is very bossy and points th- things out like flaws and mistakes I make. I assume he got that from his father. So I try to overlook that because I love him and I'm not perfect either. Well, yeah, she kidnapped the ghost of Michael Jackson. So I guess uh, Michael Jackson is a bit of a an overbearing perfectionist. Probably a bit of a narcissist. I can probably see that. Probably selfless in the, to- in, the uh, in the bathroom. Selfless in the bathroom, selfish in the bedroom, though. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Let's go have a crap together. I'll, and I'll conclude with this. Uh, Kathleen said, I feel special that he chose me for a wife, though not on paper. We treat our relationship as though we are married. We have our ups and downs, but Michael, the truth is, I just can't stop loving you. That's not even one of his songs. No. The Goblin. I don't think he wrote The Goblin either. Oh, that was, it was a B-side on Thriller. Was yeah. The Goblin. There we go. There is the, the ghost of Michael Jackson is alive and well in this uh, medium-sized woman named Kathleen. <laughs> Check out obdmpod.com for other social media and donation links. Be a part of the magic.